The season is closing soon for grouper. Wow, look at the dolphins. Nice fish. Woo! Beautiful mutton snapper. What is up, guys? Today we are here and I tell you what, it's it's god dang beautiful outside. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens. That's that's all I could say right now. Nothing's for sure. So we just got to my friend's marina in the Florida Keys. We're gonna go out for grouper, hopefully some mutton snapper, dive the reef and see what we can get. May try for wahoo, because it is that time of year. The wahoo are here thick, but in the deeper water it is kind of murky right now. How cold is it right now? Uh, I think it's like 64. 64 degrees. The cold weather brings in a lot of fish. They come in from the deeper water, so hopefully we are gonna be able to find them. How deep are we gonna be diving today? Like 60 to 100 more or less 60 to 100 feet we'll see where the fish are sometimes they sit shallower but sometimes you have to go deeper to find them so we'll try to find them today and see how we do charles and i are matching matching deep putties <laughs> how bad you guys i'm sitting at like a 10 right now all right guys so we just got out to the first spot what is this spot here it's pretty gnarly bottom it's like a lot of straight sand and then just big ledges and stuff the last time i was here it's a really good grouper spot the last time I was there. I saw some big groupers, so we're gonna try to see if we can get some before the season closes. Yeah, the season is closing soon for grouper. We can get three today, one per person. Hopefully, we'll be able to find them. We're gonna get our wetsuits on now. It's really cold, so changing is gonna not be too fun. Scott said he saw some big Kubera snapper here, mutton snapper. Should be a really cool spot. We're gonna go um, put the GoPro on our mask, hop on in, and see what we can get. So we're all ready to go right now. Oh, Charles is putting us on the spot. Yeah. GoPro on the head, gonna switch over to that footage now. Charles will run the camera from the boat. Should be a good day. Let's get in the water. We're gonna drop some sand balls. It's basically a frozen chum block. It's like real sand. fine sand. And it's all mixed together. A lot of times we'll go and we'll actually anchor on the spot and we'll be sandballing beforehand. And then we'll give it around like 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. And then once it's all nice and chummed up, we'll jump in. But right now we're on a set drift and we're gonna go on that drift first. We're gonna drop a few sandballs, get the fish active, and then we're gonna go in and try and spear some, hopefully. Water looks pretty clear. Let's get on in. Scott's back there. I gotta catch up with him. We're gonna stay together, see where the fish are at. When I got in the water, I could see the reef from the surface. As I hit the bottom, I saw a nice hogfish, but I had to let him go because hogfish season was closed. Just after that, Scott came up with a big black grouper and I knew we were gonna have a good day. Woo! Woo! Any more? Yeah, there's another big one. <laughs> Did he sit there? Yeah. Nice black. Woo! Saw him in this cave, this really big ledge and he was just sitting there all whited out. There's another nice one in there. I think Lana's gonna go after him now. When Scott said there was another grouper, I knew I had to dive quick. We threw some sandballs, I got my breathe up, and dove. As I got about midway down, I started looking for the grouper on the reef. I looked over and noticed him sitting on the sand watching me descend. As I moved closer, he started to tuck himself underneath the ledge and I knew I had to make my shot quick before he went deep into the reef. Luckily, he turned towards the open and gave me the shot. I didn't put the best shot in him, but it was a holding shot and I knew I could land the fish. But just then, this Goliath grouper appeared out of nowhere and I knew the fight was on. As soon as I reached the surface, I grabbed my shaft line and tried to pull the fish from the jaws of this Goliath grouper, but he would not let go. I pulled and kicked as hard as I could, but it's really hard to get any leverage in the water, especially against one of these monster fish. A Jewfish took my black.
All of a sudden, he let go and I started pulling up my fish as fast as I could. As I saw my fish coming up, I couldn't believe it was still intact after all it had been through. Spent my shaft. Did you fish got him? That was the black you saw. That was the other one, right? Yeah. Jeez, look at that. All right, so went down. This is the black that Scott saw on his dive. You don't really want to shoot him back here in the meat, but it's still okay. Put a shot in him, and then this Jewfish, probably like 150 pound Jewfish came out of nowhere, ate him as I was ascending. And I was like, oh no, I know this is gonna be a fight now. So he started pulling all my line out of my reel on the gun. I was pulling against him when I hit the surface, and then finally he ripped out, and you can see where he's all mangled from the Jewfish's mouth. But anyway, so got the fish, second black of the day. Pretty early in the morning. Yeah, yeah where's dude. your fish up there? Yeah, I'll grab it. Two cookie cutter size black Two nice grouper. Blacks. One of the best eating fish in the ocean, arguably. Great grouper fingers, great grouper sandwiches. You can kind of prepare them anyway, and they taste really good. So, yeah. gonna be cooking these up later. Try Let's get, get these on ice and yeah, try to get some more fish. Heck yeah. Dude, that reef right there, there's this break, and the fish love to hide in the crevices. And this one crack is kind of what we discovered. When he landed his fish, he was dropping a bunch of chum right on the crack for me. So all the fish started to come back in. And uh, that's how we were able to get these two nice fish. So yeah. Big let's get them in the box. After Scott and I shot our fish, Charles got in the water and I followed him down on his first dive because I knew he was going to shoot something. I saw him lining up the shot and boom, he stoned this nice Kubera snapper. Woohoo! down watching this black this Gabara came out of nowhere swam right up to me got the stone shot and now he's in the boat first spot of the day pretty quick early start we got two nice blacks in the boat and then we got a nice Kubera that uh, Charles just shot and the boys say they got another one rocked up right here so hopefully the third one's coming and that's our limit on one of my next dives, I saw a nice black grouper sitting on the bottom and didn't want to spook him. So I immediately went up to tell Charles where he was sitting. There's a nice black sitting on these rocks, on this side of the rocks. He dive down, he's sitting right here, like just on top of the rocks. Sure enough, Charles dove down and stoned this grouper, filling our limit for the day. Yo! Oh, <laughs> nice fish! All right, I think Charles just shot the last uh, last black for the day. So let's see what it is. They're screaming about something over there. Charles got a nice grouper. All three of us got grouper. I dropped down, I said, Charles, he's sitting right here on this rock pile. Charles dropped and just stones him. Lights out, perfect shot, lights out. Nice grouper, dude. So we were making drops on this ledge and uh, we decided to redrift. Landon saw this black on the first drop and uh, went in. We are sitting right on top of the rocks down there and. Made a good shot, got the stone, he's still moving a little bit, but uh, good shot, good fish. Nice one in the boat. Uh, that was a great spot. Black grouper everywhere, left a bunch of fish there. Each of us, me, Scott, and Charles, were all able to shoot a really nice black grouper, which we can all take home to our families. One of the most efficient ways of catching fish is spearfishing. It causes the least amount of damage to the reefs, 
It causes the least amount of damage to the whole ecosystem because we're just taking what we are eating and there's no byproduct and nothing goes to waste from what we're taking. So really, really cool to come out here. We're gonna go head south to some more spots and see what else we can get. We already have our limit of grouper, one per person. We're gonna keep working south and see what we get. On one of my last dives for the day, I descended to the deep reef but knew that the muttons were coming off the bottom and that I would probably be hunting mid-water. I looked up and saw a big mutton snapper mid-water checking out the chum we had dropped. I angled towards him and tried not to spook him away because he can swim a lot faster than I can. It seemed he was more worried about the chum and ended up turning right towards me for the shot. We're drifting this new spot right now and Landon just came up. Looks like he's got a pretty nice fish. Let's go see what it is. Beautiful mutton snapper. Nice. First dive on the chum. Told you, Charles. Told you I was gonna get that mutton. Get him in the boat. Nice fish. So, went down the sand and chum mixture that Scott has going is working out amazing we've used it before and it always works so well basically drop it down all the yellowtail come in and it starts building life and commotion on the reef so everything comes in meaning bigger fish sharks uh everything kind of hones into that one area which is exactly where you want to dive i dove into the cloud of yellowtails didn't see anything for a little bit and then saw this guy coming in he hesitated to come in for a while. Thought I may have to go to the surface and retry for him, but he turned and came straight to me. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's see if we can get it out. Really, really nice mutton snapper. Good, clean shot. Sweet. Charles just shot a nice yellow jack. I got him, I got him. Two fish or something had it. Big yellow jack. Woo. Yeah, fun. why didn't you stone it? <laughs> I wanted to give it a good fight today. He fought real hard. He thought he got stuck in the wreck for a little while, but we were able to get him out. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right, so we're heading back in right now. We just spotted a dolphin. Woo! Nice spot of dolphins up here. We're gonna jump in. What is so cold though? Look at that. Right here. Wow, look at the dolphins. These guys are absolutely beautiful. What? Look at them go. So cool. One of the best ways to end the day, just by seeing those guys. We just finished our ride in. We're gonna head to the marina. All right, so we just got all the fish hung up here at the marina. Took a picture with Scott and Charles. Now we gotta clean the boat, clean the fish, and head home. Oh my curry. Makes it feel like I'm a flurry. That's the end of my show today.